Hello, Douglas County. Welcome to the 11th DCTV 23 weekly update show on COVID-19. I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County. And I'm Communications and Media Specialist Lena Hardy. Thank you for joining us. Per guidelines from the Health Department, we continue to encourage citizens to wear a face covering while being in public, wash hands repeatedly throughout the day, and practice social distancing to fight the spread of COVID-19. Rick, could you provide an update on cases in Douglas County? Yes, absolutely. According to the state of Georgia's latest report, as of June 18th, Douglas County has 669 confirmed cases, and sadly, 32 of our own citizens have passed away due to the virus. On behalf of Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones, our chairman, and the Board of Commissioners, we would like to send our sincere condolences to those and their families. The state of Georgia created a COVID-19 hotline with the sole purpose to answer your questions and address your concerns related to the virus. If you have questions and wish to speak with someone, call the COVID-19 hotline at 844-422-2681. Just last week, Cobb and Douglas Public Health moved the testing site from Hunter Park in the city of Douglasville to the Douglas County Public Health Center on Selman Drive. And since its move, 466 people have been tested. This drive through site is free and open through Saturday, Monday through Saturday, from 8.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Also, as of June 17th, Cobb and Douglas Public Health have tested over 2,800 people. Remember, anyone can be tested regardless if they have symptoms or not. Visit cdphcovid19testing.org to complete the online testing referral to make an appointment. Individuals who arrive without a pre-approved number from Cobb and Douglas Public Health will not be tested. Cobb and Douglas Public Health would also like to remind everyone that they are now doing contact tracing. Therefore, if someone is contacted by Cobb and Douglas Public Health and notified as a contact to a case, they should go to the new testing site on Selman Drive to be tested. There's a chance if they go somewhere else, it may not be free. So Lena, Douglas County Commission Chair Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones and the Board of Commissioners have announced plans to reopen some of its government facilities under specific conditions with special measures to mitigate the transmission of COVID-19. These facilities include the Transportation Center, reopening on Monday, June 26th. Again, the Douglas County Transportation Center, headquartered of Connect Douglas, reopens on Monday, June 22nd. Boundary Waters Aquatic Center, which a lot of people have been asking and inquiring about in terms of swimming, will be reopening on Monday, June 29th. Again, the Boundaries Waters Aquatic Center will be reopening on Monday, June 29th. And all libraries in Douglas County plan to reopen on Monday, July 6th, after the July 4th holiday. Again, Monday, July 6th, all of our Douglas County libraries will be opening. For more information, you can read the full information of details on CelebrateDouglasCounty.com. On Wednesday, July 1st, American Red Cross will be hosting a blood drive at the Douglas County Courthouse from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. in Citizens Hall. To schedule an appointment, please visit redcrossblood.org and use the sponsor code DC Courthouse. Also, the blood donations collected will be tested for COVID-19 antibodies. These results are expected to be available seven to 10 days after the donation on the blood donor app or the website, which is again, redcrossblood.org. District 1 Commissioner Henry Mitchell III and District 3 Commissioner Terania Carthen are hosting a free food giveaway on July 3rd, starting at 2 p.m. at the American Legion, post 145 on Veterans Memorial Highway. Due to the COVID-19 restrictions, all citizens must remain in their cars. For more information on this event, contact Tamara Mitchell at tmitchell at co.douglas.ga.us. And also, all are encouraged to wear their mask as well. Thank you. As always, please continue to take precautions for the health and well-being of yourself and the health of others. COVID-19 is a virus we can defeat, but we must do it together. 
Douglas County citizens, please remain informed and follow our daily updates on CelebrateDouglasCounty.com, Douglas County Happenings Facebook page, and our DCTV23 Facebook page. Thank you for watching. See you next time.